I'm Jean Vandel. I'm managing director of Texelis. On our stand today, we have two things. The first one is full mobility system for Serval vehicle. Two manufacturers are cooperating next day and us to deliver full Serval to French Army. And we have the full responsibility for delivering in production all the mobility system, which include engine, automatic transmission, up to electronic and goes to the wheel. We are extremely proud of supplying French Army and DGA. The second thing we have on our stand is hub drive units which we have and suspension which we have developed with our partner Kinetic and this is aimed to answer a question of vehicle electrification is not only CO2 footprint reduction, but also performance increase. Performance increase in many areas. Uh, it can be better protection because there's no more vehicle hull being compromised, but also there is fuel logistic question, which is significantly impacted. For Serval, we are thinking and we are working on a concept of hybridization. The hub drive unit is not only for Serval, it's also for many other applications. During Eurosatory, we have very high expectations. We will have three kinds of visitors. French government, who we are extremely proud of contributing for the next generation of Scorpion vehicle. The second kind of visitors are foreign governments, potentially trying to find solutions for small 4x4, for new generation of armored vehicle, and potentially technology transfer. The third kind of visitors is foreign manufacturer who are missing mobility capability and we would be delighted to cooperate with them as well. My name is Boyan Gerchev, I'm proprietor in Optical Electric Group. It's a Bulgarian company and one of the biggest companies in Europe for producing uh, different kinds of uh, sites. Day sites, thermal sites, night vision sites uh, and different optical mechanical units. We produce everything from day to thermal and night vision site as well as uh, some uh, integration work, some special mobile surveillance units. One of our top uh, products at the moment is night vision Google. Very light, about 300 grams, so it's not a problem to wear them uh, for a very long time. They're flat, very easy to use. This product we produce only the optical side. We have as many clients as, as possible, as many new clients as possible, because we come here for the past, I don't know, maybe 10 years or so. so we are, it's a very good show. Yes, certainly. I'm Marin Tollet and I'm a press officer for Arcus. This is a special event for Arcus because this is the first Eurosatory show in four years and it is also the fourth anniversary of Arcus Foundation four years ago. So it's a very special event for us and we've got loads of things to show, uh, especially well, new vehicles, new, new solutions, but also updated things and improved vehicles and systems. So the, the, the first vehicle solution that we're showing here at Eurosatory and the new one we've got is the Sherpa A2M. So this is a new advanced mobile motor that Arcus is offering to its clients now. So this solution comes from a partnership between Arcus, but also NTGS from Spain and Talis. So each company has been providing with its expertise in the fields. So Arcus is providing with proven solution for mobility, that is the Sherpa, with its huge payload and uh, extreme mobility solutions. NTGS is providing with its proven motor carrier system which is an auto-deployable mortar. And Thales is supplying with its uh, 120 millimeter rifle uh, uh, tube. So the main advantages about this system is its huge mobility and also accuracy in firepower. So it's a good solution for armies that are looking for fire support solutions for their uh, infantry, close support solutions, on, and also for special forces as well. So it provides with accurate and heavy firepower um, at about uh, 8 to 13 kilometer range uh, with um, a much cheaper price than self-propelled guns. Hello, my name is Nadia Imtugi. I'm responsible for the marketing for after sales 
department. And I will be presenting the area of after sales in Eurosatory. So in here, we will be presenting the in-logistic support and then in-service support, mainly focusing on the training because we have a large offer for the training. It goes from e-learning. So we have a large offer for training. For example, the mock-up you can see in here, it's a mock-up that is used for educational. In here, we have it as a small, but we can have it as a real uh, mock-up for the vehicle that can be used within the training. Let's move on the spare parts. We have included as a part of our uh, industrial process to in plastic or in metal. And then in here, we have the diagnosis tool. This diagnosis tool can be can be added to a vehicle in order to have an effective analysis of the breakup and then to solve it very quickly and effectively. So this is Viscarabe, possibly our most known and most iconic vehicle. So Viscarabe is, as you know, a reconnaissance uh, vehicle, but for Eurosatory, we fitted it with uh, anti-tank capability to match the current engagements going on. So the main difference with the current, with the different versions we've been showing so far is the anti-tank capability, which uh, can be shown on the top with the Akron by MBDA launcher fitted on the side of the uh, RCWS turret. So it's fitted on the side in order not to uh, hamper any capability from the remote control weapon stations, but we also get, got it a dismounted combat capability thanks to a launcher fitted inside the vehicle with some extra missiles. This capability is reinforced with the beta low-light cameras, which give the vehicle some uh, night uh, vision uh, capabilities, as well as some night driving modes. And this system, uh, coupled with the thermal uh, cameras, give it an, an ability to move uh, in silence, find, thanks to the, uh, to the silent electrical engine inside the vehicle, and the ability to detect and then attack, engage and destroy enemy armor, if needed be. But the main concept of a vehicle is reconnaissance, but it, it, it would fight off enemy armor, if needed. I'm John Delben, CEO of Tenexium. We are a French company located in French Alsace, in the eastern part, and we are dedicated for armoring solution design of parts. This is clear that on the market we have a lot of old vehicles that are usually not well protected in regards to mines, and we considered, according to some customers' requirements, to be able to propose something that is flexible, adaptable uh, on each vehicle, and able to also protect against fragments and blast at the same time. So we made a blast explosion and test and also fragments and we are able to display with fit necessary a certificate about it. We made several testing according to FB7 level or the standard level 2. Here we have a solution with a FB7 with 50 kilo per square meter that is quite interesting on the market with our solution as a backing and high hardness still in the strike phase. Here we see three impacts with a high stress on these kind of parts with penetration but everything was stopped by our score liner. We have here also another solution with the 500 Brunel steel according to the standard level 2 requirements with a PIBZ armor piercing bullets and also FSP on the same plates. And uh, we can see here that we can absorb a lot of efficient and efficient solution uh, on the same sample. We are representing Optics GSC. It's a Bulgarian private company, a 100% private company, which is manufacturing mainly night vision and thermal imaging solutions together with integrated systems for observation, border control, perimeter control, etc. My colleague would continue further with more details on each solution we have brought to the show. The first one that I want to show to you is the Bidentifier 100. It's designed specifically for surveillance, reconnaissance. It has a medium and long range for observation. Pagot, thermal imaging device designed specifically for RPG-7. So what is interesting about these devices, it can integrate any type of reticle, ballistic for uh, different types of grenades. If you move on, we see the Identifier 100 Pro. So this is a thermal imaging scope for large caliber weapon systems. It has a media board, GPS, a digital magnetic compass, and it also has Bluetooth connection. And this is the ZIR 100. It's a thermal imaging clip-on, which lets you to enhance the capabilities of your high caliber 
rifles. Let's move on towards our night vision devices. What you can see here are the monocular twin tube goggles and single tube goggles. Something specific about them, they're made from aluminum, which is really durable. And a lot of the modern solutions nowadays are made from plastic and polymers which makes them a lot more durable than a lot of the other products that you see from competitors. Something else is they can be mounted on any type of helmet or a face mask. And the monocular in specific can also be mounted with a Picatinny rail. And the monocular can be mounted on a weapon via Picatinny rail. So, for example, a red dot sight can now be used as night vision as well. My name is Boyan Gerchev. I'm procurator in Optical Electrum Group. It's a Bulgarian company and one of the uh, biggest companies in Europe for producing uh, different kinds of uh, sites. Day sites, thermal sites, night vision sites, uh, and different optical, mechanical uh, units. We produce everything from day to thermal and night vision site, as well as uh, some uh, integration works on special uh, mobile surveillance units. One of our top uh, products at the moment is night vision goggles. Very light, about 300 grams, so it's not a problem to wear them uh, for a very long time. They're flat, very easy to use. These products, we, we produce only the optical sites to have as many clients as, as possible, as many new clients as possible, because we come here for the past, I don't know, maybe 20 years or so. so we're it's a very good shop.